Addis Enterprises presents the National Railway System. This grant project will cover the entire national geography through five phases of execution, arriving and departing from all the ports and airports in all the main provinces, becoming the most important project in Dominican history. During the late 1800s up until the 1950s, a railroad operated. This is our proposal for 2022. The National Railway System will also include the expansion of the Duarte Highway. We will be increasing the highway to three lanes in each direction, complementing it with pedestrian and motorcycle overpasses, drastically reducing the risk of accidents and turning it into an expressway which has 160 informal crossings, averaging in four deaths per kilometer per year and more than 5,000 injured travelers. The railway platform will be located in the center of 80% of the highway, reducing its environmental impact. Studies have projected that the train would implicate the same as adding two additional lanes to the highway. In its first phase, it will connect Santo Domingo and Santiago with two travel modes, express mode with a stop in La Vega and a travel time of 59 minutes, and omnibus mode with intermediate stops in the cities of Villa Altagracia, Piedra Blanca, Bonao, and La Vega with a travel time of 71 minutes. Parting from the intersection of the 23rd kilometer of the Duarte Highway and the Circunvalación of Santo Domingo from a majestic station which will count with shopping malls, hotels, government service offices, parking lots, heliports, and the Alta Vista restaurant. Villanta Gracia. Piedra Blanca Bonao Environmental studies recommend that in order to protect biodiversity and reduce the impact on our route through Loma Miranda, that this section include a 4.5 kilometer tunnel. Returning to the center of the Duarte Highway in direction to La Vega. Concluding its trajectory in our magnificent station in Santiago. The Heart City. The project contemplates, in addition to passenger transport, freight stations that connect the port of Jaina and the multimodal port of Caucedo, with the transfer points of customs free zones located along the route of the train, ending in our logistic distribution center located in the city of Santiago. In addition to freight transportation, we will have six urban solid waste transfer points along the route from Santo Domingo to Santiago in order to supply a solid waste incineration plant with the capacity to incinerate a thousand tons per day and generate 25 megawatts of electrical energy. The 
the implementation of LORP Freight Platform, a technology and combined transport that guarantees safe, fast, and economical transport of semi-trailers and rope tankers, carrying them throughout the National Railway Network, housing complexes, customs free zones, collection centers, aquaponics systems, this project will generate more than 425,000 direct and indirect jobs and will increase the GDP by more than 3%. Ahadis Enterprises is a private capital and acquired external financing for the total construction of the train in the Dominican Republic. With many efforts and cuts, we have made its profitability feasible. We do not have subsidies or sovereign guarantees. A one-way ticket to our country's success.